Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to add tags and how to manage tags on your site. So tags are great because not only do they allow users to find your products more easily, they also help in the search throughout your website, and you can do things like um, most commonly popular tags is something they have by default on here, but you can build your own. Basically, tags are a great way to categorize your products. So let's click this, and uh, we had this product that we created before, and I'm just going to add some tags to it. Um, and so you can actually um, use single quotes for phrases or just separate them by space if you want. So we're going to have this be awesome, and I'll put wrap. What else? We can get some, we'll do a phrase. So single quote, and we'll write hip hop, even though this is not hip hop. Um, and let's see. What's another one? Kung Fu. Okay. So let's add all of these tags. Add tags. And see, it's going to ask me for my account information. So let's uh, check this out. Let's go to my account. Okay, of course I don't have an account. So um, to create tags, your users have to have an account on this site. Okay. So this is actually something we haven't done yet. So let's actually just create a new account as a user. I know we have an admin account, um, but let's just have a, a, a user account. So, so if you see here, it says three tags have been accepted for moderation. One tag has been added to the product, and that tag was awesome. Let's actually try this again. So if we do fun, and then we'll do another single quote one for phrase, and it's going to be um, super rad. Okay, and then quote. Okay, add tags. So if you notice, two tags have been accepted for moderation. Um, if you keep adding tags, it's going to be like you need to have these approved. Okay, so where you do that is very similar to what we did for reviews. If we come in here, um, this is going to be under tags and then pending tags. This is really to stop people from just spamming the crap out of your tags if they want to do um, like SEO or some some like bots trying to add a bunch of tags, even though they have they must have an account for your site, um, it's going to stop people from spamming a bunch of stuff. But we want all these approved, so let's select all and just like reviews, we do actions, change status, and approved. Submit. Cool. So we have let's go into our tags, all tags, and here's a bunch of our tags. Cool. So let's add a new tag from this interface. Let's click add new tag. So if you want specific tags to automatically be approved on your site, um, let's say you want music to be always approved. Anytime anybody tags it anywhere, you can select this to be approved and then save tag. Okay, so now music is a tag on the site. Let's go back to this product and now let's try to add music to this product and it's going to let it just automatically go in. So let's do music, we'll click add tags, and you'll notice music tag has been added to the product. This is a great way to have guided tags. So you don't have to go in and improve, approve all the tags for your products. You can come in and you can say, okay, these are the things that I really want my products to be tagged as, and then you can either tag them yourself or you can have your users tag them. Um, that way uh, you don't have to come in here and every time somebody writes a new tag, approve it, approve it, approve it. If you'll notice here, it also lists a number next to it and that's how many things are tagged with the same tag. If we click awesome here, it's going to show us all of the products that have already been tagged with awesome. So these two products are already tagged with awesome and that's why when we originally created our tags for this product, it automatically went through for that one, but for um, the other tags we had like hip hop and rap, they didn't just go right through immediately, okay? So that's tags for your products. And so now if we go to the front page here, you might see some new tags here, but if we go to view all tags, you'll see all the tags. Of course, you might wanna CSS this, make it look a lot nicer than this. I don't I don't know if I would push this out looking like this to a site live, but uh, you know, if, if this is what you want, it's right here uh, with no modification needed. Okay, so that is how you add and manage and approve tags for your website. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for listening. Bye.